Garifuna music, dance, language and food are among Belize's most important cultural exports. Collectively, these elements help to define who we are as an ethnically diverse people. Even with a shared existence, there has been no effort to market these features as a single tourism product. Not until now, with the introduction of the Garifuna Trail, as you may know, um, many instances you'll just see dancers going to resorts instead of guests coming to us. So we want to change that dynamics, whereby we can leverage um, much of the marketing tools in order to be able to leverage the economic power that comes with tourism for our people. As a community-based tourism project, Garifuna Trail aims to provide a unique and genuine cultural experience for visitors across various Garifuna communities. People are traveling today to try and gain that experience, to connect, to make connections, human connections. That's what people are looking for today. So it's more than just come and observe and look at entertainment. That's not what they're looking for. People want authentic connections and that is what we are trying to, to develop and promote into a tourism product. Um, Belize is all about authenticity and our cultures when you come when people come here they feel a sense of, of um, connection that they feel nowhere else in the world. So that is really what this is all about. Much like Dangriga, the culture capital Hopkins Village is prominently featured along the Garifuna Trail. Over the years, this southern community has blossomed into a major tourist destination where Garifuna Duo often takes center stage. For those in Hopkins, all the locally owned businesses, I must say thank you. Um, but in the same light, I encourage others. The ones in Dangriga are also permanently featured. Remember, these are all unsung heroes, people who have been taking on cultural preservation in their own light, in their own efforts, with their own money. This initiative, nonetheless, is part of a regional effort to highlight authentic experiences across the Caribbean. For the Garifuna Trail to materialize, Belize had to submit a winning proposal to compete Caribbean Partnership Facility, a private sector development program delivering innovative and practical solutions to stimulate economic growth. Compete Caribbean chose a very unique opportunity this time to have CTO execute the project on its behalf by implementing in three countries, one of which is Belize, but also in Bahamas as well as Dominica, three pilot CBT projects, community-based tourism projects, with the thinking that the learnings from these experiences could be shared to really expand the model within the Caribbean. And it's really... Um, um, gratifying that the projects focus on indigenous persons in the first instance. Oftentimes that's a, a neglected or maybe even ignored community in many of the ways that tourism has evolved, it becomes very mainstream. Chief Executive Officer in the Ministry of Tourism, Nicole Solano, says that the project is being funded to the tune of 375,000 US dollars. The project won um, among several other projects that were proposed within the, um, the region. So it is being funded by Compete Caribbean, uh, a project that was done through the Caribbean Tourism Organization and the Belize Tourism Board as well is putting some funding toward it and then in-kind contributions from the cluster businesses themselves. We're looking at training in entrepreneurial um, endeavors, we're looking at tour guide training, we're looking at um, holistic training where self-empowerment is concerned. So it's a holistic approach to cultural tourism where we first develop self. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatama.